This is CW Austin Morning with first warning weather and traffic. Good morning, 8 o'clock here on a Wednesday. We're working our way through the week and uh, give it a few more days and we'll be back into the weekend again and into a new month, mind you. December starts on Friday. Outside right now, you can see the cloudy skies from our Austonian weather camera. Not everybody is this cloudy, but most of us are pretty gray to begin the day and we think it's going to be a cloudy day overall. We're up to 47 now uh, in Austin. Still some 30s hanging on though in the hill country where we have had some breaks of sun. Maybe you saw just a few minutes ago we showed our Fredericksburg camera where there are some sunny breaks but most of us cloudy and in the middle and upper 40s. There's the gray showing up on clouds and radar. Uh, it's not bringing any rain with it at this point. In fact today looks dry with the exception of some evening drizzle. But overnight and into tomorrow, we'll be tracking some storms. Not expecting those today. Mostly cloudy at 9 and 48, and then it's completely gray to end the morning into the afternoon. 57 at 1. We'll go with a high of 60 during the middle of the afternoon. So gray today. We'll track the timing of severe storms here uh, tomorrow, including what the concern is with the storms. And then a warm start to the month of December. Erica. Okay, thanks, Nick. 801 as we take a live look. I'm going to still monitor the situation here on Highway 290 and Monterey Oaks. This is the best text dot camera I have to show exactly what's going on until I start to see better movement. Then we'll start to kind of focus on other th things. This is definitely the big issue this morning down in Southwest Austin with that crash near 290 and William Cannon that took out the light and domino effect. Things have been a real mess on 290 near the Y at Oak Hill. That is the only big traffic alert I have right now. Uh, the drive time coming in from Dripping Springs, obviously being impacted by that issue there at William Cannon and 290. A 30 minute drive there, 21 minutes northbound Mopac from 45 to Cesar Chavez, an hour coming in from Kyle, and 21 minutes northbound 183 from 45 to 71. Flipping to the other end of things, we're still in the red, southbound 35, Georgetown to Round Rock. There was an earlier crash right near Leander Road, so south of 29. So that whole Georgetown corridor, really feeling the pain this morning. Mm. Uh, let's get to this. A rare bird uh, spotted for the first time in Texas.